Hello everybody, it is I, Jesus Primus, and this is yet another episode of the Belgian series. And while I was sort of poking around looking at where I was, I realized we were still making Early War Fighter 1s, as opposed to Early War Fighter 2s. Which is silly. We need better planes. Clearly. Now, as the world sort of stands at the moment, Palestine has fallen, the Turks have, uh, well, basically capitulated. They've been defeated. Uh, the Russians pushed them down from one side, we sort of broke them on the inside. Africa is mostly stable, there's still German forces in South Africa, but quite frankly we don't give a tosh. <clears throat> As for the home front, the one that matters, well, I probably should mention Serbia first. I guess. Serbia is doing Serbia things, also known as they're holding on still. I'm surprised. Uh, a couple of playthroughs I've seen, Serbia got stomped. Uh, badly. <clears throat> They're probably being helped out by this rather large British invasion on the Bethanian coast, which is quite frankly interesting. Uh, it seems the Brits are doing the eastern approach to World War One, uh, which was what a bunch of um, general staff argued for. You take out Turks, you then keep marching up Austria-Hungary, and you hit the exposed flank of Germany through here. As opposed to the Western approach, which was the idea that you duke it out in the Western Front until eventually somebody wins. Yeah. All the things being said, we've done pretty well for ourselves in the Western Front. We are mostly holding on to uh, the Benelux. We've done a decent job. I think we lost maybe one square. And yeah, we're doing alright. The French and the Brits are here. There are a couple Brits scattered about. Mostly Marines, though. Not exactly the most helpful thing in the universe to send us, but I digress. <clears throat> they seem to be here at least. That being said, just a quick look at the war. Do to do, do as I fix this. There we go. So, in terms of losses, Germany has lost the most of anyone. Actually, rather impressive. Usually, you see Russia with the most. Austria-Hungary has also lost 1.03 million. While the Russians have lost nearly 2 million, slightly behind Germany, still slightly better than Austria, the Ottomans conceded the war with only 23,000 casualties, which is quite frankly silly. We've taken more. I'm willing to call this a success, you know? Anyway, we also have a great deal more stability. Hmm. Meanwhile, the Brits have taken 148. Thousand. Serbia is taking 176. Uh, France is taking 137. I mean, for Serbia, that is a large number. Egypt is uh, slightly behind us, 37,000. Portugal at 47. Montenegro at 27. Canada at 26. Empire of Japan, 22. British Raj, 21. New Zealand, 0. And, well, now we're just into nothing, really. Tunisia lost maybe 200. All in all, I think we're doing pretty well so far. The Russians, however, might be on the brink of collapse. Also known as, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the Ukraine right there. They're in Crimea. This, this isn't good. That being said, they did kick Turkey out of the war, so at least they did something right. Meanwhile, the Brits are doing okay on this side. And our forces are doing quite well. I am happy with them so far. Meanwhile, our expeditionary forces are finally getting here. Let us continue the clock. Ah, there's a French offensive now. We can finally be of service. See if we can't turn some of these around. That's not all that great. Two successes, however, is not bad for this front. I'll take that. Help them at Meppen. There we go. Let it not be said the Belgian didn't help. I'm doing all right there. Okay, here. Eh, not bad. We're gonna get our one little score back. <clears throat> Makes me happy. Not sure I want to keep devoting men to these. Absolutely sure I don't want to keep that one up. Oh, we've held there. Let's devote those men to here. 
Come on, France, don't pussy out now. Which is, of course, what France does whenever I say that. Damn it, France. If they were any good at their job, we'd be winning this war. We might have a chance to do something here at Pittsburgh, because we have rather experienced divisions. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Not willing to push the issue. We won that one. We're about to win this one. Maybe. Maybe. Blue we'll help launch these ships, which are hopefully going back to port where they belong. This is after we apparently lost a battle. I don't like that. Oh, and we have resistance to our occupation in Rwanda. Not much we can do about that, and frankly, I don't really care about Rwanda. For now. This assault is going nowhere. The French gave up. Damn it, France. Again, my opinion is if France gets their act together, they will actually be a useful ally. That being said, I guess they're doing all right. Alright, this thing he says the plan might actually work because of an inferior enemy. I'm gonna give it a shot. Hey, what do you know? The French managed to actually do something. Good job, France. These guys are doing... Oh, excellent job up there. Cleaning up house. We're, do we're doing it. We're breaking through on the Western Front. Good job. Meanwhile, the British landing has sort of... Uh, reached a point. They're now actually fighting resistance. Montenegro is trying. And Serbia is still holding their line. Meanwhile... I think Germany still has men in Africa. They do. I'm impressed. Back to the home front for a quick second here. Wow. That's a breakout right there. We're already in Essen. Let's go, boys. Picked up Essen. That's exactly what we need. Bunch of factories. I'd love another one for planes. Very good. We have the angles on these guys, too. Just a free. That dude scratching his boots. Don't do that. Get in front. Come on, boys. Come on, lads. Sorry, that's too British. There we go. Beating them back. Taking Dortmund. After a French spearhead. They just took a little uh, Belgian kick in the ass, didn't they? As we're just getting piles of factories after all, we were taking the Ore Valley. Sort of backwards, but eh, I'll take it. We really do need a buttload of those. And I would very much like some of these. And next priority is those. Here we go. <clears throat> 91. A little glitchy there, Rakan. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a nasty cough. Ah, we're beating the back. Good job. Full bubble effect right here. Let's just smack him. Let's see what the losses are doing. 50k for us. Russia's finally broken two. Germany's might hit three pretty soon. If I kill those guys. France is finally taking casualties for shit. Thank you, France. And yeah, I think we've done our job. I'm proud of these guys. We're doing all right. And hey, we're even the majority of this offensive over here. This isn't bad. We've killed out the bubble, and we're getting back to the front lines again. Making good pushes over here, even though I'm pretty sure it's France. But hey, the French are actually doing their job. And the Kingdom of Italy is finally joining the war. Late as usual, you fucking assholes. Nothing wrong with Italians, of course, just Italy always joins the war late. Usually when a side is about to be decided, like, you know, I don't know. The half of Germany that's important falling off. 
That being said, I'm going to step up my fighters. Those that are in a Benelux, the fighting is no longer actually happening in the Benelux, and we can go to Western Germany now. I would like to be able to hit North Northern Germany as well, but there's just simply no air bases. I could fix that, but frankly, not yet. Ah! The United States wants to send us some volunteers. Thank you, America. Oh, yeah. Wilson is present. Good. Had to make sure. Pocket up there. Smacking. The French are just kicking ass right now. Good job, boys. Let's get in there. There we go. Help them out. Very good. And we just try to take this piece, which is the heavier defended part. Excuse me. I would like him to get there and get take Brunswick. That'd be very nice. Sort of cut these men off. They're slowing us down with an attack there. That's annoying. And yeah, that went pretty well. German line is cracking like an egg. Three. I'm going to admit mostly French offensive. However, there are Belgian forces here, guys. This is us as much as it is them. And we started this. This was our attack order. Very clear. The king himself came up with this plan. Good job, Albert. Here we go. There we go. Get the Brunswick. Come on, boys. Get there. There we go. We took Brunswick. I get free dockyards now? Nice! I'm gonna build some navy. That makes me happy. Take armor cruiser. And just get that all ready for me. Thank you very much. And this assault is not going anywhere nice. No, it's just not happening. Oh, God. Yeah, that's why. As good as Albert is, he's only level 3. He can't do that much for us. Did somebody take Bitburg already? Come on, guys. Alrighty. Some more factories. Because we are taking the most industrialized place in Europe right now. Well, either most or second most. Ah. Uh, join the French. There we go. Smack them silly. I have no idea where this came from, because for episodes this has just been stalemate. I guess those extra men help. Dash the French actually deciding to do something for once. Fucking French. Again, nothing with the French. They just took forever. Ah, oh, the Americans have finally shown up. Well, volunteer Americans. They're not, you know. It's not the Americans actually in the war. But they're isolationists. What's your excuse? Doing a very good job. We've eaten up, about, I'd say, about a third of what is usually Germany. Modern Germany is about two thirds, but yeah, details. I count Prussia in this one. I kind of have to. That being said, the Eastern Front is going terribly for us. Well, for the Russians, I should say. Eva. Those of you that don't know, that's Stalingrad. Eva. Thank good. And the Italians are doing lackluster as usual. Who saw that one coming? I, I did. I saw that one coming. That being said, they have to rest. Maybe I can't shit on the Italians this time. I'm still shitting on the French. They, they have that one coming. There's Italians here. What are you doing all the way over here? You, you have your own front to deal with. What, what are you doing up here? Okay, more the merrier, I guess. The mountain men. You you need them down there. Italy. Italy, you idiots. <sighs> do, 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 do. Get Bond down here. 
I'm impressed by how quickly that line just fell to shit. It just went nowhere. It just went poof. Line? What line? It's gone. We could be in Munich pretty soon. That's terrifying. I say pretty soon, but we're all, all the way out here. We're definitely going to hit Strasbourg from the back, though. Good. We have a success. Good job, boys. It's that navy. Oh, we're going to convoy right a little bit, just because I feel cheeky. It is one submarine. I mean, I'm not expecting a miracle here. Do um, I'm pretty sure we need some guns. There we go. Wait, what? Another three. I mean, thank you. All these German factories, I have no idea what to do with them. There's just so many. This series has basically been, I have no factories, to I have all the factories. For now. Pretty sure this won't survive whatever peace treaty it is that will decide this war. But, for all we know, it might. Running low on supplies? Where? Uh, down here. Makes sense. We are pretty far extended. Nice job. We're gonna hit Swiss border. Nice. Good job, boys. Free dried nuts that have been kicking ass. Resistance to occupation. Still just Rwanda. Odd that. You'd think all these uh, Germans would uh, maybe have a problem with Belgian rule. Apparently not. Who knew? I certainly didn't. <clears throat> And just for the gigglies, let's go get ourselves some doctrinal efforts. And all these more factories. Here we go. Hey, we're gonna be first world power by the time this is over. Providing the French don't suddenly overextend. France, don't do that to me. on this little thumping. Oh, come on. Get them already. Jeez. Yeah, we no longer have air superiority. Anywhere. That's not good. All the Western Germany, please. Who gives a shit about France? Ah, there we go. Let's move to Hesha. Zoom. And that should do us for the moment. Let's see if we can't get some more planes in here. Get us 25, please. Quite nice. And there we go. Doing good. Oh, if we can just hit the Swiss border, cut all those men off, great. Sadly, it's not working just yet. We definitely need more planes. This hole is just not giving up anytime soon. Jeez. That's been there for a while. It's gotta be hell in there. That's just ridiculous. And of course all these zeppelins just keep flying the hell over. The Balkans, really. You flew all our wonderful planes to the Balkans. Why the hell? 
as we chase down the last couple Ottoman armored cars. And Bulgaria, for some dumbass reason, just joined the war. Well, you know. Other than the fact that they totally would have in actual history. Doesn't make very much sense right now, though. I suppose they think Serbia can be hit from the opposite side. I'm going to call off the offenses for the moment because A, we've completed our objective, and B, holy crap, we're way over here. Let's go for that as a front line. Also known as not quite Munich. Somebody picked a fight with a submarine. He's getting the ever living crap beat out of it. Good. Don't you mess with my sub. Here we go. Good job at all these. Except for this one. I can use him up there. There we go. And the French attack anyway. Why am I not surprised? Of course the French attack anyway. Don't know what just caused that. Oh boy. We got a glitch. Freezing up here. That's not good. Oh, this is not good at all. Come on. You got this. Come on, buddy. Don't crash on me. Don't crash on me. Oh, crap. That's why. The Tsar has abdicated. That's not good. That's really not good. Well, Russia was doomed to start with, but... Eesh. The Soviet Union has started. So this begins the Russian Civil War. Between the uh, Bolsheviks and the Whites. And the Grigor Yevov. This is going to end badly. Always does. Look. That being said, if there isn't very much good news to be had. We knew it was coming. You know, nineteen fifteen October. Yeah, a couple weeks early, but. Mostly historical. And it's freezing up again, that probably means we have another event. Again, this is a very small design team that makes this mod, but they do a damn good job. Other than it occasionally gets hung up like this. I don't really mind. It is World War I. It does a decent job of being World War I, and generally doesn't do this too often. That being said, it's hung up right now. Why are we hung up? Come on. What's the problem? That's not very nice. Huh. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go, indeed. So apparently, um, the Treaty of Brest-Litovsk has been signed, and the October Revolution is successful. Basically, a combination of political instability defeats in battle and war weirdness made it such that the Russians can't stand up with the Central Powers, and they just drafted the peace treaty, which will basically cost them um, the Ukraine, Finland, some Baltic regions, and some Russian issues. Less all theoretical if the Germans actually win, they might not. Considering the Germans barely hold Germany at the moment, I don't know what's really prompting all this. Other than it's 1915. Come on, guys, take it already. They've been fighting this for months. Germans are just unwilling to surrender, and we're hung up again, which means it's probably another Russian Revolution thingy. 
Oh, nope, nope. It's just a hang up. Anyway, we've been playing for 20 ish minutes. I'm going to call that an episode for now. We've done amazingly well in this part. We broke through the line at long last. We have overcome the German positions and are marching on Berlin as we speak. Hell, we're already halfway to Potsdam. That being said, the Germans are probably pretty war really. Let's just take a look. And they're 62% of their victory points. They might survive the fall of Berlin. But I doubt it. Which would leave Austro-Hungary as the last man standing. That being said, the United Baltic Duchy up here has joined the Central Powers as a puppet of the German Empire. Those of you who have no idea what the hell any of that means, basically... The Baltic states got their quasi sort of kind of not really independence during the uh, Russian Civil War and uh, sort of sided with Germany for a little bit. Um, this is mostly a theoretical, it didn't actually all the way happen, but this was likely, in fact. Anyway, we're hitting a little bit of old history here. Not too bad. Though. I'm going to tell these guys to go join that. Ditto for them. I guess we could definitely use Magdeburg. And yeah, we've basically cut Germany off from itself. We're relying on Prague to hold the line here. And have taken much of Western Germany. I'm quite surprised with how quickly and successfully we've been doing this. The British landings in the Dalmatian coast have basically just taken over. Croatia and friends, I guess. Not really. I don't exactly call that piece friends, but well, the Italians had Brevnik. I think they start with that though. And the Italians have taken Trias pretty solidly. That's that's a good win for the Italian front. Uh, looking around the rest of the world, the Germans have been pushed back all the way to the coast. Not quite entirely off the continent of Africa yet. The United States is still. Not wanting anything to do with us, I'm sure. Ah, they're finally willing to send volunteers. As they have been sending. And the Soviets have just done their thing, as we all know. China is still a republic. Uh, Japan's in the war. Looking over here, not much really going on. All the German colonies have basically been eaten. And yes, I know, I have a couple of dudes sitting on Java. I'm going to keep them sitting in Java in case anyone gets any ideas. Looking at you, Japan looking at you. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Please like and or subscribe if you've enjoyed this content. I'll keep sure to get on out. Uh, I apologize for the lack of updates uh, recently on this one. I've been dreadfully ill. I still am a little. And uh, filming this, I like to try to not be dead, you know? Ah, another little thing I just noticed. My offensive line doesn't quite go the whole way anymore. There we go. Fix that little thing so I don't have to do the next episode. Anyway, Thanks, guys, for watching. You get the drift. And, yeah, we'll be back in the next part. Hopefully, we will hit Berlin. Maybe we might even end up uh, finishing off World War I before the Americans have to get involved. That could be quite interesting. Anyway, thank you all for watching. You know the drill. Peace.